Today we're having a look at our composite floor system design script. So this is a script that will take a frame made out of simple lines and it will give you a composite steel design for each of the members. The primary focus of the script is speed. So we're trying to create something that an architect could potentially use or an engineer to pass on to an architect that's very quick so a building can be varied parametrically and give live feedback to the user and give them a reference design straight away so they can see the implications of what their changes might mean to the structure. So in this video we'll demo the script in a simple frame and then we'll move on to a larger building as well. Okay, so here you can see the composite designer in action on this simple parametric frame. And you can see as I vary the dimensions, it's giving you a design. And as we went through on a previous video, there's quite a lot of work that's being done in the background. So we've tried to make this very quick and very simple for to use for the end user. But there's actually a lot of work that's going into this. So each time this frame varies. It obviously know, has to know firstly how much load is going to, into each of these members, so that's happening in real time. Then it's doing a strength check on the wet weight of concrete and the f uh, final design once the concrete's set. It's also working out three types of deflection. It's working out the wet weight deflection, which is feeding into this camber value and then it's working out uh, shrinkage uh, and creep and just ordinary deflection uh, in the final state and then it's taking those all into consideration it's it's going through about 20 to 30 different steel sizes each time and it's coming up with the best solution so we're pretty happy that this works pretty fast uh, considering the amount of computation that's going into all this. Just bear in mind that if you do download this script and use it for yourself, it may not work quite as fast. Uh, that's due to caching um, and some other technical details which I won't go into here, but it will still work quite quickly and we're always trying to improve the speed as well. So before I turn to a bigger building, I'm just going to turn off some of the modeling. And I'm going to turn on the camber and the deflection, final deflection lines. So you can see The bottom dashed line, the closer dash, is the amount of final deflection that design will experience. And the top line is the amount of pre-camber that it's asking for. So you can see, you can sort of see, although obviously we're trying to keep all these deflections low, and that's one of the main factors leading into the size selection but the pre-camber is getting quite a bit bigger and we're limiting obviously the total deflection to a span over limit you can see that in real time there and obviously you can vary the centers of the decking if you need to if you have um, 
some very big decking. Uh, the re-entrant, sorry, the open trapezoid type decking. And, uh, do a design for that as well. These are Australian sizes, but we can adapt this to uh, any country as well. So now moving on to a bit of a bigger building. And this one has a terraced section, which can be varied. So say the architect wants to play around with a placement of where that terraced chunk goes. You can just vary the script parametrically, something that an architect might set up. And then our script is going through and automatically framing it out which are the red lines. So it's giving it a grid, which you can see there. And the primaries are on grid, and then the secondaries are at the closest to the secondary spacing that you set. So in this case, suitable for composite design, which is about 2.8 meters, uh, which suits a typical thinner deck. You probably push it a bit either way and you can set your primary and secondary spacing that you'd like so it's automatically framing that out based on what shape the floor plates are good thing about this though is now that we've automatically framed that out for every iteration we can apply our design composite script. So if I turn on the composite designer, there you go, it's got a design for each member. Now there's about 800 sections that have been designed there. And it took a bit under 20 seconds to do that. So it's not something that's really suitable for live input. There's just too much calculation going on. But you can obviously, 20 seconds isn't too bad to design all that steel work. And it's giving you the camber and studs, etc., for all that stuff. It also goes through, just as a side note, and gives an additional load for anything that's on the perimeter uh, of a floor plate, and then that's you can set that load, um, and that allows you to put a facade load on the edge. Then if we want to, want to model that as well, we can also model it, and that's going to take a reasonable amount of time as well, because you've got about 800 different pieces of steel. And then it's come through there. Now I've just realized that I've set it to mid height. So if I set that to top of steel equal to the floor level, it's got to work through that again. And there it is. So you've got your modeled solution which the architect could use straight away or you could the engineer could pass on to the architect it's um you can obviously see see where the pinch points are so when you come through to put services in you can see where the deep beams are say you've got our uh, air conditioning runs trying to go through uh, this hallway things like that so that's where you can start varying the spans or you can make it deeper, put panos through, stuff like that, etc. As usual for design. But it does give you a very quick way to basically move, move the geometry of a building around, automatically frame it out, and then do a quick composite design. Very, very quick. Um, it could be used by an architect potentially with guidance from an engineer. Obviously, the engineer would have to... Um, verify the design and do a bit more detail but uh, 
gives gives everyone a quick idea of uh, what type of design they'd be looking at. Thanks for watching this structured parametrics video. Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one.